<laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick run through. <laughs> oh, gonna be out of breath real quick. Me and Nova just down the beach. All right, I've had a few people ask. Oh look, what oh, no, that is? What is that? Nova. It's a flathead. Oh, he's gone. I'm do a quick tackle chat about what I use to get some salmon. 200 odd plus a year, usually. Um, so what I'll probably tell you is something completely different to what you're used to. I absolutely do not use a pad and oster rig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use them because where I fish, especially down south, down near you grew up, uh, I'll leave the video at the end. Check that out. Um, it's too much seaweed. So pat an oster, have your sinker at the bottom, hook up high, seaweed catches all on the line, runs down the line, sits on your boat, no fish. So this is the method that I use, and give it a go. Like, it's just obviously just an opinion. It's what I use, it's how I catch 200 odd salmon a year. I don't know if there'll be any around here today, but it's a technique that I use, and seems to do okay. How's these guys over there? Busting around on a jet ski. How cool would that be right now? Um, so I'll give you a bit of a run through of my gear, give you a bit of a chat on how I find a gutter, what to look for, and Nova and I can go for a swim. Can't we, Papa? He's knackered. And I'll do a giveaway somewhere with a code word at the end of the video, or somewhere through the video, where you can comment and win. I'll give away a couple of these. A couple of school bullies. All right, let's go. Let's chat. Tackle chat. So this is what I use. Simple, easy, cheap. Sedona 5000. You can buy about five or six of these for one Stella. So I only buy one. This is about eight years old and around 30 pound braid. Still works. And I don't care if it gets all wet and gets knocked over in the, in the drink or when I'm walking through gutters like that. If I get smashed by waves, it doesn't matter. It's cheap. I think about 120, 130 bucks or something. Second thing I use is a sea bass, Daiwa sea bass. It's 11 foot and I can cast a long way and it gets out over the waves. Just find it really, really good, really flexible. Nice flexible tips. When the salmon starts jumping, you still got plenty of shot. All right, I'll show you how I tie my knots. Quick knot tutorial. I don't even know what they're called. Ready? Loop around the finger once. It's probably some sort of granny. Can you see? Around the finger once, through the hole once, through the hole twice. Just like that. Make a little granny knot. Now I'll leave the tag ends on so that if I get any seaweed or anything, it catches as it comes down. Don't, it doesn't need to be that long but you can cut it off a little bit, but I always leave a little bit of a tag in. Just like that. <whistles> Next thing you need. This is what I use. A little two ounce, size two, bean sinker. And, I don't know whether you can see that, little rubbery grommet thing. Feed it through, like this. Feed through. Like that. Feed the bead through. Like that. See? Simple. Next, swivel clip. Put it through the hole of the swivel clip. It doesn't stop spinning. It's quite windy down here today, actually. Open it up, like that, swivel clip through. Ta-da! Simple. That is the basics. That's where I start from. Next thing you need is your leader. I use this. 30 pound black magic, 20 pound black magic. Usually this one, especially if I'm down at Ugrup. Watch the video at the end here, at the link. 
at the end. Get your leader. You want about, I don't know, two foot of leader. Cut him off. Again, I don't know the name of this knot. I was taught this knot by my dad and I've never really learnt. All right, so what you do, what I do, put it through, through the hole, like so. Wrap it around so it wraps around your finger like that. One, two, three, four. Like a little twist, but your finger's still there. Put the tag end back through the hole where your finger was. And pull it tight, so you get that. Bit of spit, bit of lube, and cinch it down. Again, I leave the tag end on. And the reason I leave the tag end on is because when this clips onto here, when the seaweed comes down the line, it'll either get caught here, or it'll get caught here. It won't go down to the hooks down the bottom. Right, clip that on. Simple as that. Next. Either. Next, all you need is some of these. Go to Whitey's, get the show guns. I only use show gun hooks. These are the best hooks that I've actually ever come across. Great for Taylor, salmon, snapper, only ones I use. Six O's or five O's, depending on the size of your bait. So these ones are five O's. Get yourself a set of hooks. Same knot as that end, ready? Through the hole, back on itself. Try and use my body as a bit of a shield. Finger again, like that. One, two, three, four. Simple, back through itself. Pull it tight, bit of spit. Like that, cinch it off. Now I cut this one off a little bit, but not all the way. Like that, leave a little bit of a tag in, so it does still protect your bait. So if seaweed comes down, it still protects it. All right, then I'll show you how to put a bait on. So this is how I put muleys on, depending on the size of your muley. Line it up. So you want your, your, your hooks to go facing that way, but you also want your last hook or your first hook, one with the tie end on, to go through the eyeball. So line that up like that. What's that, Nova? What do you got? Let's check this out. You can see something. Let's have a look. Looks like some kind of big, big ass sort of snaily looking thing. Look at that. G'day mate. Some kind of big sea snail or something. That's wicked. Never seen one of them before. I got no idea what the bloody hell that is, but that's cool. Some kind of sea slug or sea snail or something without a shell. Where was I? All right, back to here. Line up the eye. What do you think, Nova? Line up the eye with that part of your hook because that's the bit that's going to sit on the eyeball. Then line up the bottom bit where it's going to come out. So it's around about down near, right near the tail on this one. It's a small muley. So you want to start with your first hook through that part of the, the fish. Like that. Try and go through the, the body. Then hold it out like that. Then put your next one up like that. Down through the body, push it through till it comes out the other side, like that. So you've got one hook, two hooks exposed. The, other, the last one should line up directly. See how it lines up spot on with the eyeball? Perfect, straight through the eyeball. So your bait is nice and straight, except for it's a bit bend in that one. Next thing you need to do, cut the tail off. Feed it to the seagulls, whatever you want. That makes it swim straight in the water. If you don't cut the tail off, it'll spin. Around and around. When you cut the tail off, go through the water. Lovely, just like that. Right, so that's the first bit. Next thing you need to know, need to do is look for a gutter. And I'll show you what a gutter looks like. Here. You see the water coming in from the left, 
the three left arrows. The squiggly lines is your gutter. So you've got water coming in from the left. You've got the sandbar up the back. And where I'm pointing the fingers, that's where you want to be casting your fish. Most people try and cast up the back towards the sandbar. You want to be casting around about the middle of that thing. And then the water flows out to your right. See where it goes out to your right there? That's your right hand side. And as you follow it down the beach, you can see the water continue on into a bigger, wider type of gutter. So that's where I like to fish. Um, obviously, everybody's different. So that's your that's your main setup now I put a swivel clip onto here leave it over <laughs> he's trying to get the bait I put a swivel clip on here because if you're sitting on a beach especially you grew up like where I was watching catching the fish you can easily if you see a school come past unclip your bait disconnected right put that aside have this ready ready to go same setup as your hooks, but just click quickly, switch it over, clip it on, run out, start casting your lure. So you can switch between them. See your school coming past? Quickly switch it over, have this ready somewhere. It's a little school bully. Now I'm gonna give a couple of these away. A couple of school bullies. Code word, salt water. Comment the code word down below, and I'll get someone like Shauno from Fish and Wishing Life to go and choose somebody. Hopefully, some young kid gets it. If a kid gets it, that'd be awesome. I'd love to get some kids into some salmon, especially this year. Salmon Slam, go check that out. The Facebook page is there. Check that out. I think it's uh, Western Angler. I think he's doing it. Have his details here. Check out Wreckfish West. Go check out the Salmon Slam. Get amongst it. Go get some salmon. Yes! There's all sorts of weird shit. I don't even know what that is. You see the fish here? <whistles> Swimming around. Anywho. Oh, nearly fell over. Bonus points if you hit the ding. Ding, ding, ding. Get in it, win some lures. Thanks guys. Peace out. <laughs> go get some salmon. Come on over, let's go.